Win Win 20% off Black Friday sale, November 21 through 28th. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's November 2021, we're in the Mirage 2000C and there's been a major overhaul of the air-to-air -air symbology in the HUD. Guns have changed, the 530 has changed, the magic has pretty much stayed the same, so we're just going to cover guns and the 530. First of all, a change in the keybinds. We now have a two-stage trigger system. First stage, microb trigger, first stage. Second stage, micro trigger second stage if you have only a one stage trigger just use the second stage we now have a shoot cue that will show with the symbology to turn that on this guy here ensure that it's in the down position we've now got a shoot cue telling us when to fire next let's lock the guy up with the radar and go into guns mode so master arm on guns mode which has stayed the same I'm going to go weapon system command forward to bring up our ball sight for the radar, lock him up, and let's look at the first symbologies. Now it's a long time since I flew the Mirage, so I can't remember how it was before, so let's just go over all or most of the symbologies. First, our designating box. This could be a box or a triangle, obviously. When the shoot cue shows, we'll have another box inside this box, or another triangle within the triangle designator. Next, our gun fall line, this guy here coming from the gun cross. It's pretty much doing the same job as it was before, but now it's smoother and more accurate. Constantly falling down the line are the shell shot. If I unpause, you can see little dots going down the line. That is just showing the rate at which my shells, if they were actually being fired, would go down the gun tracer line. Next, as long as we are outside of 1800 meters from the target, we have our range scale here, currently showing with a chevron a range of 3300 meters. Also, a closure rate here, that's the difference in my speed and his speed, currently positive 256 knots. Next, intercept circle and intercept cue here. The idea is that I fly to put the intercept cue here at the center of the intercept circle. That will put me on a rough intercept to get within range of the hostile. This will disappear at about 1800 meters, I think it is. Guns left ammo, guns right ammo, and target aspect in degrees. Currently, he is relative aspect left 45 degrees. If it was zero, he's heading away. 180, he's coming towards us. Some of that's new, some of that's existing. Let's get a little closer and see how the symbology changes. If the intercept circle is flashing according to the manual, it means that the radar is nearing its limits of slew, though we haven't confirmed that in game. Now we're within 1800 meters, the intercept circle has disappeared because it's done its job, we're on an intercept course. Now the aiming circle appears, which is what we had before, it's at the end of the trace of full line. And I need to get in a slightly better position here to show it off, so we have a ranging chevron cue at the top. At 1200 meters to the target, it will begin unwinding as we close, through 900 meters, 600 meters, 300 meters, and 0 meters. Next, if I press and hold trigger first E10, I will have a virtual strafe of shells run down the trace of full line. You can see, bu -bu -bu. Bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm not actually sure what that's used for, whether that's actually to help you aiming or whether that's for simulating dogfights, I'm not sure. So please let me know. The only other thing to show really that's different is the shoot cue. So let me try and get the shoot cue going and make sure I've uh, got my switch down and I have. If I get in a position where the WCS calculates that I'm going to hit him, I will get the shoot cue. Currently outside of 1200 meters, 1300 meters, 1200 meters. Okay, we're closing now. Just watch for that shoot cue. There, shoot cue. I found it to be not particularly accurate, but you may have better luck. Next, Super 530D controls. To fire the missile, press and hold second stage trigger. To engage point A mode, weapon system command forward. To work the radar, we lock the TDC depress to slew the radar. TDC up, down, left and right. To change between STT and TWS, I've just got that there. So, let's go and lock the guy up, he's on the nose. Master arm, 530. Use the radar to lock the guy up as we normally would. Okay, we're locked and we are in a standard TWS mode so that we don't give him a radar warning. Next, symbology. Target designator box, 
Closure rate in knots, dynamic launch zone or range scale, showing the hostile is currently 25 nautical miles, ranging indicators, R max, maximum range of the missile, R min, minimum range of the missile, R no escape, the distance to fire at which, even if he maneuvers, he won't escape. G, left missile, D, right missile. Numbers above them, in seconds, the time of flight of missile until impact. Intercept circle and intercept Q again. We're going to fly with the intercept Q in the middle of the intercept circle. And again, relative target aspect, as we saw with the guns. And Super 530 selected. Before we can fire the missile, we have to get a lock. And a lock tone, which is the same lock tone as the magic, confusingly. To do that, we either change from TWS lock to an STT lock now, known as PSIC in French. We do that by pressing the toggle that we saw earlier. In fact, why don't I go and show you? And pause. Change. You can see now that we've got a tone and a lock with the left and the right missiles because they've got circles around them now. This means we can now fire. Let me change back to TWS. And we've lost the lock. Let's fire in TWS mode. Uh, not much to do but close up now, so we're going to close up. Getting to our max. We've got the first um, shoot cue here, obviously, as it was before. Circle within a circle. Get within our lethal and we've got the second shoot cue, uh, TIR. Second shoot cue. Now we're going to fire in TWS just like we did before by pressing and holding the trigger, a second stage trigger. It will not fire until it's switched automatically to PSIG or STT and gives us the tone. Then it will fire. So in terms of what you actually do, not much has changed, but the systems in the background have changed. So let's press and hold. There we go. Next, quite a bit has changed on how this missile now operates and the radar behind the system. So, it's going to be easiest if I bring up Razbam's latest text to explain this. Roughly split, these two paragraphs are telling us what happens now when the missile is fired. This happens automatically. This can be commanded by us. So, automatically, when a Super 530D is fired, the radar switches to PSIC STT mode. A sub-mode of PSIC that lasts 50 seconds, 45 seconds of the missile lifetime, plus 5 seconds grace. While the radar is in this mode, if the target is lost, the radar will continue to illuminate its last known trajectory and try to reacquire the lock for 8 seconds. After the 8 seconds have elapsed and the lock has not been reacquired, the radar will switch to force illumination mode where it will continue to illuminate the target's trajectory but won't try to reacquire the lock anymore. During the memory and forced illumination mode, even though the target is lost by the radar, if it is still in the radar cone, the Super 530D will continue to guide on it as it is still illuminated. Where the pilot comes in is if the memory or forced illumination modes are not able to continue illuminating the target, the pilot can choose to switch to P6 Super 530 point A mode, it means flood mode. This mode works as a flood mode and will slave the radar antenna to the aircraft axis, the bore sight of the aircraft directly ahead. The pilot will need to aim the radar at the target using the aircraft to continue its illumination for the missile. So we're going to try that. To do that, weapon system command forward you press. I can't force him to notch us and you know, lose a lock. So I'm going to pretend that I've lost the lock. And um, I'm going to show you using the flood mode or the point aim mode. So I'm going to unpause. Oh no, we've lost the lock. System, weapon system command forward. Point the uh, aircraft at him. And we should see, hopefully, we'll still get a track and a strike. Oh, how about that? Oh no, it's still going. Got him! <laughs> Point A move for the win. So that's showing the relatively small changes to the Super 530D. I'll continue to try and update as things change again. I hope that was useful and see you later.